Karen, the species known for its unique ability to spot the manager from miles away, has long been a topic of fascination and terror for retail workers everywhere. But where did it come from? And what motivates it to engage in such ruthless behavior? Join us as we dive deep into the world of Karens and try to understand this elusive creature. I thought I told you to get off the porch! Go! Get! Get off the porch! Come on! Don't you ever come back up here again! Oh, don't give me that look, you sassy little... B -b 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 bear and don't come back this first customer was using the bathroom at this quick trip and the manager claims to have asked them to hurry up and leave but the customer insists they never got the memo next thing you know the cops show up but surprise surprise the officer is actually really nice and tries to mediate the situation but the customer still feels like they're wrongfully accused which turned into the customer having a problem with the officer accusing her of not knowing the laws because she told him that he could be trespassed if he refuses to leave. Yeah. What's your badge number? Here you go. What's your name? Officer Burnett. You need to get to going or they can trespass you from here. Okay? No, that's not against the law. What's not? Show me what law. Can you call your supervisor, yo? Are you that's a, a I, okay. No. Do you want to cause a scene? No, that, that's against the law. She's giving, you the, she's giving you the option to leave. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you need to leave. You can't do that. That, that, that. That's not against the law. For That's a public restroom. Can okay. you call your supervisor? This is actually a business. It's, it's a, business a quick trip. Yep, a business. Call your supervisor. I do have a supervisor. Can you call him right now? Sure. sure. Okay, this is your badge number. I want to make. Yeah, dude. What's your name? I've already given it to you. Okay, I'm waiting for your supervisor. Okay. Against the law, yeah? No, nope, And not. you're a police officer? Yep. You just said it's not against the law? For what? For using a freaking public restroom? Well, they asked you to leave. Nobody asked me to leave. Okay, well, I was told you were asked to leave. And no. You've been in there for too, much, too long of time. Okay. I'm gonna freaking call your call, call him. Excuse me, no Ed McMuffin should take 20 minutes. Why you get it? Why you get it? Let's give a big round of applause to Walmart, the one-stop shop for great deals and free entertainment. Yes, that's right, folks. You can witness the best Karen meltdowns while grabbing a pack of toilet paper. Do what you're told. Drag me. No, you do what you told. Drag me. Come out of here. Come out of Drag me. Come out of this woman. Drag me. I said. Drag me. I told you to drop me. I don't care what you said. Drag me. You know what you found? Right now. Drag me. Drag me. I told you to drop me. I guarantee you don't want me to drop me. You are a little. Itty bitty tiny speck of And just in case you guys missed it, the guy was telling the demonic spirits to come out of this woman only in Walmart. Oh, hello Peter. Can I borrow the broom? Sure. <laughs> this folks this next lady is on a mission to solve the case of the missing gloves she's accusing this poor gas station worker of committing this horrendous crime of stealing her precious hand warmers ma'am you can ask somebody outside but i already said no i'm not going to do it i'm not going anywhere then 
Well, if you want to stay warm, you're welcome to sit here. But all I ask is please don't yell at me. Please don't disrespect me. And I think you me. belong locked away in prison as an inmate, not standing behind some convenience store cash register as a cashier. I already said that I think you're an inmate. Oh. Well, I just ask that you please don't disrespect me. And I ask that you please just do whatever. It's good, but it's going to get reported. And I'm trying and you're, to find somebody. All you're trying to do is show me them. that your customers love. Oh, those are my gloves. They were laying at the end when you pulled out right there. Oh, my God. So. I was going to leave and I happened to look and I was like, that looked like it could be gloves. I think you owe that man an apology. Bruh. Thank you, sir. Like, that's crazy. She talking about the theft occurred here. You didn't see it, so you don't know if it was a theft or if you lost it. I mean, the very least she could have done was apologize for jumping to conclusions faster than a kangaroo on a trampoline. This next clip is called When the Table is Turned. You have to put the leash on I it. just took him off so he can go And with if you're in Mexico. I'm going to put up with the bag. If you're I don't in Mexico. Need you to tell me. I have two leashes for my dogs. They're going to go to the bathroom right now and then I'm going to clean There's up. There's kids here. And then I'm going to. You're in Mexico. You have to speak Spanish. Okay. I'll go back to your country. This next clip is called Meet Tom. What is in your mouth? So we got this next level genius who couldn't handle the fact that his car was getting towed. He probably thought that he was Vin Diesel or something and could just break free from the tow truck with sheer force. But let's just say that didn't go so planned. Instead, he ended up causing more damage to his car than just paying the tow. And to top it all off, he decided to blame the tow truck driver for the damage. Don't drive off! Don't drive off! Lisa, this guy just drove off the boom. Property. You're breaking the lock. I'm gonna call the cops on you. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. No. Bye. Y'all go now. You can go. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming. It's coming, bro. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Pull it. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> man. This is so close, man. Come in, man. Watch out. Watch out. This next guy is more dramatic than a soap opera. He threw a fit because his hash brown wasn't ready on time and decided to storm out in the middle of his meal without pain. Maybe it was all just a diversion to get a free meal. I don't know.
This next lady is having a full-blown meltdown over her neighbor's lumber wood inching towards her side of the property. She's screaming and making some weird noises that would make Bigfoot proud. Can we take a moment to appreciate the brilliant minds of these two? They decided to go viral on Instagram filming themselves licking ice cream and putting it back on the shelf. And to make it even better, they tagged their Facebook and Instagram handles to the video so everyone knows who to thank for their food poisoning. Where is there? Get ice cream. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. Oh, Alright, Ariel, put it back. Ariel, put it back. Come on, let's run. Let's run. <laughs> Gotta get out of Ohio. Video, right? okay. what the this small security guard walks up to a store owner accusing her of spreading rumors about him trying to hit on women and getting fired for it. The store owner is taken aback by the accusation and denies ever saying anything like that. But the security guard is insistent and demands the owner to keep his name out of her mouth. I say what now? Yeah. Don't, don't record. So I said, told people you were leaving? Don't record. Yeah, I got to do what my legal team say. Since oh. I'm being harassed. No, you're not being harassed. So I, so you heard I'm, me tell people hearing. that you're leaving. That's what I'm hearing. I don't care what you're hearing. Okay. Y'all ain't how and you approach me. you'll be surprised me. who telling me this. It could be your best friend. You think I ain't got no best friend. friend. Okay, okay. I ain't got no best friend. Oh, you know, I'm not going nowhere. I ain't got none but haters. Yeah, I ain't got none but haters. I ain't got number haters. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So unless you heard me say it, don't approach me. Don't don't well, don't we, approach we me. Solve all this, so yeah. Okay. So what that mean? No, don't. What that mean? You gonna keep harassing me? That mean you gonna keep harassing me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you've been so, harassing me since I got here. Okay. Yeah. Since I got I'm here. Just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Keep your name out your mouth. Yeah. Keep my name out your mouth. All right. I hear, I hear you say stuff solve, every day about I'm me. Okay. That's what you think? That's what you think? Okay. I got you on camera. I got you on camera too. Good. 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 This bus driver just wouldn't let this customer on the bus with his surface dog. The driver claims that the customer and his furry companion have a stinky odor that was too much to him. I'm riding my bus. I can't. Especially yesterday, see, I tried to call and I could ride. Today. I could run your no, ride your bus. bus. For what said, reason? You and your dog smell. Yeah. No, they don't. Yes, they do. But no other sir, bus driver has said it. Sir, I don't care what other driver said. No, nope, you can't. On my bus, you're a nuisance. You, you so can't you're deny no me for that. No more, sir. Yes, I can. I got to refuse to ride. My big boss, Sabrina, 
said you cannot run bus. Amaya just talked to them and they said yeah, you that's can. Not, uh, that's customer service. Call for my boss Sabrina. Talk to her directly. Yeah. The supervisor's coming out right now. To talk to you. Good. You're no longer allowed to ride with my bus when I'm driving. Good. You're harassing me? No, you're and harassing you're, me. You're, uh, you're, you're trying to say that. I got two witnesses inside here saying. You're on camera right now. I know. This camera, you're on camera. Bro. I know. You're not but come on bus no there's more. no other bus driver you that's could. ever you said me. anything. You call, you call every bus driver up. No. Nope. Yesterday, you called him and said I tried to run you over. So guess what, bro? You that's none of your business. When you were sitting right there, buddy. Nope. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. It's all on camera. Like, I know it's everything. on camera. So guess what? You and so is that. I was to be here so soon to talk to you about a restraining order against you. So leave me alone and go sit down. <laughs> you can't deny me that. I'm denying you my ride. I'm denying my ride. No. Nope. says, okay, leave me alone. No, we know. You guys are witnesses, though, right? Thank you. Recent events, law enforcement officers have been alerted to a possible gang-related incident that took place in a local neighborhood. According to the reports, a suspect gang member was spotted by the police on a rival gang's turf, resulting in a pursuit by law enforcement. Unfortunately, the situation quickly escalated when the individual spotted one of their rivals. Ma'am, please leave the rest. I want my receipt back. I'll give Can you a new receipt. I want my receipt. I want my receipt. Give me my receipt. I'll pay you. Can you please leave the rest? Can you please leave the rest? I want my receipt. Give me my receipt. I'll pay you. Not until I have the receipt. Just give her the receipt right now. Give me the receipt. Oh, oh man. Don't do that. 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 Give me my receipt. Don't touch me. Give me my receipt. Give me my receipt. You fuck off. You don't touch me. Come please. Give me my receipt. You don't touch me like that. Give me my receipt. Get out of here. Ma'am, please leave. Give me my receipt. Get out of here. Out of here, ma'am. Give me the receipt. I'm gonna call the cops on you. Guys, wait, I have to get out of here. I swear to God, you guys are seriously in trouble. This next worker had a heated argument with his co-worker over his complaints of having to stand up for too long. The co-worker suggested he takes a seat, but this led to the worker getting defensive and proclaiming his allegiance to the west side before dramatically quitting his job. Me, sir! I'm talking at you, I'm gonna go. No, you're not, you are not. You're talking like I'm a goddamn child, no, I'm 25 and I'll beat you. I never said you was a child, never tried to I talk did 40s and chinging, motherfucker, I'm from the east side. Okay, that's good for you. If you, if that's what no, you're no, 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 we're not doing that tonight. All right, you say if you do he just made a shot. He just made a shot. He was okay. I'm staying right now. I quit. Have fun staying on line. Because of your dumbass mouth. All I said was if you need to. No, you said go sit down. You said no. You did not. Don't twist it. There's a camera right here that heard it. All I said was if you cannot stand up, then you can go sit down. I'll beat you. If you want to talk shit like that, because guess what? I'm joking, but the camera's heard that too. I understand how this works, Jason. I heard you go do this. Same shit with the goddamn speaker yesterday morning, bro. Same no, goddamn shit yesterday morning. Well, the morning before that, bro. I don't know. I work goddamn seven days a week. It I all f runs together. I just asked you to turn it down. I was sure no, you, you heard me. No, you, you didn't ask me. Shit told me. And you, it, I it, mean, if I was actually telling you. Sit down. This next lady has a major problem with a dog that's hanging out in front of a store, but as you guys will see in the end, it's definitely more than just a dog. It just seems like she's having a very, very bad day and she's just taking out on anyone and everyone. It's almost like the dog is thinking, lady, chill out. I'm not causing any trouble here. You are. Hi, your f***ing dog. 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 Hi, your f***ing dog.
Gaga. What are you? Are you even white? You're not white, huh? You're entertaining. crazy here's a guy who's causing chaos in his neighborhood as a way of getting back at his neighbors for their dog's constant barking he's so worked up that he's ready to challenge anyone who dares to confront him and he's determined to make his point and you with that dog i hear that dog again i'm gonna crack his skull open both of you You. you with that dog and him, okay? You better not come over here. You better not come over here. I'm going to crack your skull open with an axe handle, okay? Kay. You and this guy are going to stop, okay? I've had enough. I've been going through this since last September, lady. I don't know who the hell you are. Go in there and get your husband, your father, and whoever he is. Bring him out here. Bring him out here. Where? Is it your man? Tell him to come out here. I'm a little guy, man. I'm 5'6". Tell him to come out here. Tell him to come out here. What do you, what, what do you, what are you not in your head at? I'm serious, girl. Sure. I'm telling you, I'm serious. Because, because this woman did the same damn thing with this, with this dog. This is going to stop. I'm going to stand out here and terrorize this whole neighborhood until it stops. Get ready for the most adorable meltdown you'll ever witness. This fluffy cutie just can't seem to accept that playtime is over and it's time to go home. The couple says that this happens every time and it's like trying to convince a toddler to leave Disneyland. We're done. It's time to go. Come on. We're not going to do this again. Dakota, come on. Everyone, you're embarrassing yourself. And us. Come on, buddy. This guy is convinced that the poor worker behind the counter is some sort of math wizard who's hiding the rest of his change. He's in a heated argument because he can't seem to count his own change. The customer gave him $10 for something that cost $8 and got $2 back, but he's still not satisfied. Someone get this man a calculator. I'm gonna talk to the, I'm gonna talk to the manager and tell the manager, what we get you in here for if you don't speak English? Okay. I just gave this man $10 and had $2 and something on the table and some change, and he just picked up my change too. You check that. No, it's not. I'm the See, I know what I gave you two five dollar bills on, boy. I'm not stupid. Baby. 
I gave you two five dollar bills. There's enough to get cash that. It was only eight dollars and something, homeboy. I'm from America, man. I speak English. I wish you would. I'll beat your. I will beat your. I will beat the dog out your. You'll be crying for your mama. Go get it, you punk. I wish you would. You come out here with anything, I'll call the police on your. Okay, you put it. I'll beat your. And you still owe me some money. You took $3 from up here in the change. They go to change right there. That's not all the change, homeboy. Amen. I will beat the dog shit out of you. No, it's not. No, it's not. I want my money, homeboy. Call the police. Call the police. You call the police. Yo, none speaking English. I'm gonna have you fired, homeboy. I'm calling the police. Yeah, I'm calling. As soon as my wife come out here, I'm calling. You just took my three dollars and something. My change is still out there, and two five dollar bills for something that's only eight dollars. Next. So get this: a lady with an attitude bigger than the moon walks into UPS and starts demanding service like she's royalty. The poor worker, just trying to keep it together, tells her that her attitude won't fly. But then things get even more bizarre. The lady starts blabbering about how her sister is a serial killer and the worker is like, what the actual heck? The drama continued to escalate, leaving the worker to lash out on a customer demanding her to leave. Can you leave? Please, no, can you please leave? Your can you please leave? Please? I follow the Ten Commandments. Can you leave, please? I follow the Ten Commandments. You can you leave, please, girl? I will be calling the police Neil? on you, ma'am. Good. I will call them. Pat, okay. Call them right now. Call them right okay. now. Call them right now. I want to talk to them. I want to tell them that you keep discriminating against a I very innocent you. woman. I'm asking you to leave. Out of here. Get out. Get out. No. Get out. No. Get out. Get out. No. Now. Get out, lady. Get the fuck out. Now. Get out. Get out, lady. Get out now. Get out. Get out, please. 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 I am going to call the cops if you do not get out, please. Get out. 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 Why are you so hateful? Get out. Why? Tell me why. Get out. Tell me why. Get out before I get, get out. Tell me why. Get out, tell lady. Me why. Get why? out. Why are you I'm hateful? asking you to get out. Tell me why. I'm asking you to get out, please. No, tell me why. Get out. Give me one reason. Because you're rude. Get I'm out. Rude. I asked you what do you I'm need. A get you're out. Rude. Get I'm out. A get out, lady. Get out, please. 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 We do not. We do not need your business, please. You know why? Get out! Get out, please! 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 I'm reporting you. Get out, please! I'm reporting you. Get out! Get out! Get out! The police will get out. So the homeowner says that her neighbor accidentally received her package and took it upon herself to open it before returning it. And get this, the neighbor apparently had the nerve to say, I should have stolen the backpack. understand that we're all are waiting but we I enter uh, well that's not how I work I re make the rules as I go well it's well I make the rules as I go I don't know about you but I do <laughs> well I break them well, um, guess what and I'm breaking them right now too excuse me oh my excuse god, me. Hey, hey, god. Hey, hey we got a hostile one back here yes I'm we do he is yes. too right. he's knocking people yes. over don't be rude to me because one thing I can do is be rude back to you is what I can okay. be okay oh. 
I am, but I'm just saying, she's talking I'm hostile, but I can be rude as well. I didn't push no damn body. You want to stand in a way like you're a bodyguard, I moved you out my way is what I did. This passenger couldn't believe it when the airline worker insisted that his bag was too big and that he needed to pay extra. He argued his case, but it seems like the workers were just out to get the passenger. To make matters worse, one guy had cash to pay for his bag, so the guy filming decided to help him out and cover the cost, only to be told that the gate was already closed, so everyone was stuck at the airport overnight. It was like a real life version of that Tom Hanks movie, except without the free vacation. Once again, here is my bag that fits inside here and I'm you not mean, I mean denied on this flight. No, you have two bags. Ma'am, she got two bags. What in the world? We got supervisors and managers here that it's just not making any sense at all. So they're also denying this gentleman to get on because he has cash. I'm willing to pay with a card to help him out. We're not getting any service here at Frontier. He only has cash. I have a card. Hold, hold on to your cash, man. Hold on to your cash. I'm willing to pay for your bag. You're a lifesaver. Bro, don't worry about it. This is uh, a good man. Bro, don't worry about it, man. You need to get home. I just, I just wanted to home. We're all trying to get home here. Because the door's already closed. That's why. Is he able to get on the flight? The door's already closed. What the? I wasn't involved in any of this. Oh my God! Please, you need, to, you need to tell me what's wrong with you. Oh my God! I will okay. get my knees prayed to so get my heart. That's fine. Right. Okay. I, I did not do anything wrong. That's my bag. Okay, this is my bag. We got a whole catastrophe over here of terrible service by Frontier. I don't know where to Why do you hate me? Got a guy begging over here to get on the flight. He did nothing wrong. I don't even know you guys. Frontier. Here's the flight number. Terrible, terrible customer service. These people over here need to be reprimanded for their actions. Now they're hiding behind here. Totally hiding. It's absolutely ridiculous. These people here have no idea what they're doing. We also got these two women over here trying to get on this flight. They also denied them for this bag not fitting in here. I don't understand. So now we got several passengers not able to get on the flight because of terrible customer service. Clearly fits. The yeah, you can see, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Excuse me. Fit. Excuse me. There's another bag that clearly fits. We still got a whole ruckus going Where's over here you? for bad customer service. Well, she's taking a video or photo of me. Obviously, she's been on video this whole time. So, so I need sir, your ID and then we'll get what, what crime did I commit, sir? Disturbance of the peace and it's going to be trespassing here in just a minute. Trespassing for what? Is it trespassing if I have a, a ticket for a flight? It's been revoked. A different airline. We have one for a different airline. I'm booking one. They asked me to book one. While you do that, you can do that in the public area. You have no longer, you have no legitimate business to be here. For a crime that, what crime did I commit right again? Right now it's interfering with an investigation. I've asked you for your ID. You're not giving it to me. Disturbance of the peace and we're working on trespassing. So, Hi, I'm Victoria Oliver, 960 You didn't do anything wrong. You're just asking me questions. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. I'm just, you know, want to make sure that we're all on the same page. So, uh, this guy was uh, harassing the... That was not me. Uh -huh. 
and it was sure, following sure. her and it's, no, about sir. A, it's a bag issue. So that was not me. Want, they don't want okay. your business and they've wanted they've revoked your ticket. You have no longer oh, I already missed have, my flight. You don't yeah. have any any sort of a boarding well, pass nor business here. So I went to customer service. I asked what are my options? Mm -hmm. The lady was very nice. She said, Here's a refund, seeking a refund. Okay. She said, scan the QR code. Mm -hmm. She said, at this point, your only option is to book another flight with another airline. Yeah, let's just I go said, to great. Book it. Well, I would like to. Yeah, I was looking at flights. They asked that he asked for his ID. Yeah. So yeah. here are the ladies no, that were in yeah. line with hey, me. Let me, let me, let me, let me so you you. Fit perfectly. Yeah. Yes, sir. David. David. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm, do yeah. Just go on the public side and get a new ticket. Okay. That's the best thing to do. Sure. Here's a microbiologist who seems to have left his filter at home. He starts lecturing an AutoZone worker about their salary, insisting that he makes more money than the worker does. And to top it all off, he blames his bad behavior on having a bad day. You know what type of day you have it. When you but you don't get that I don't care. 875 an hour? What? 875. Do you work at all? I'm a mother microbiologist. So that's, do you want to do you want to compare credentials? No, I'm saying you want to compare credentials. I got I got I got a bachelor's degree in microbiology. What do you got? What do I got? I got a job here. Oh. About those that you okay, just well, do that. Right. I got big nuts. Small brain. You have a brain. <laughs> Okay, no, no, well, please, please don't, don't, just, who, just who, let them, who are you them. talking to? No, no, no. You don't know what type of day people is having? I don't, I don't know. So, so, so who are so, you to come in? What's wrong with, with, you can't take words, you're a microbiologist? No, take words. Okay, I well, do numbers, I don't take words. Okay, with well, numbers. I do numbers, I don't All take right. words. Alright. Good for you. You keep talking, I'm gonna be waiting for you outside. Sure. Get ready for some drama, folks. In this next segment, we have two friends who are not so friendly anymore. It all started when the lady friend decided to leave town for the weekend and left her tenant to babysit her house. But when she came back, she found the place in disarray and decided to kick out the tenant. But wait, there's more. The tenant is refusing to return the key because he still has his stuff inside the apartment and the lady friend had to call the cops and a locksmith to deal with the situation. It's like a bad episode of a reality show, but unfortunately for them, it's all too real. Recorded. Record this, please. Oh my god. Okay, oh my god. Okay, stand stand up. Up. Oh my god. You are back. breaking and entering. <laughs> Look at me. Look After at me. we discussed getting my stuff. Look at me. Okay. Me, me and you can go up No, he just tried. He just pushed back. Record, record this. It is being recorded. So you said white woman thing. He pushed past me. Put it on us. Please. Can you please get outside of my door? Can you not touch me? Don't touch me. Hey, uh, so I've been hand holding my arms. Okay. Like, please help. He's trying try to make a big deal Listen, out of this. Um, I used to so cough when I get my stuff. A guest is trying to get his stuff. Property I asked him manager. to return the keys and, and before he enters the house, and I held my hands okay. against the frame of the door, and he tried to push past me. His girlfriend's recording it, so you can have all the evidence you need. Sir? Help! Please help! What's that? Uh, are yeah. you, uh, sorry, from? This is this is the guy I was having to change the locks for. Yeah. Sure, I'm the guy. Help. Um, yeah. Look at her freaking out. We're standing right here. Look, my I place. I have the keys. Me and you just go up and get his stuff. He can doesn't you, have to be please? involved. Yes, that's I will right. give you the keys once we get his stuff. Okay. If you hand me the keys, I'm a neutral person. I'm a neutral person. If you hand me the I, keys, I'll let you upstairs to get I'll the stuff. I'll give them back to you once we. You don't need your. Keys. Okay. You're creating all this drama for nothing. Is it okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. The uh, no, there stuff. are no weapons, so sir. It's the just that, down? you know, he yeah, pushed keep, past me while I was trying to stand in the just doorway. recording it so we have evidence for the cops. Okay. Can we I don't want to have stuff? a white person put me in jail. Well, with hold on. I, I'm sorry. What did you say, so, sir? I can't understand. There are three slavers. people talking at me at once. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Sam, if you could go back in your car, I can let her up. Don't talk to me. I can, okay. Let's just. ridiculous. He can get his stuff. Uh, you can get his stuff. It's fine. I just need okay, to. Okay, I'm just very worried about him because you know how cops can be in Holyoke. Yeah, she well, to black care. people. She's he was the one who suggested it. And he, wants the black man be racist. Don't he, talk to him. You know, I also I, need I, the keys to my upstairs bedroom. This is just the keys to my front door. He locked my office and my upstairs bedroom. 
Um, okay, well, he sleeps in your upstairs bedroom, so that makes yeah. sense. We're forgetting about that right now. Yeah, because but he, I he asked him to leave the keys. doors unlocked so I could start unloading things into the truck. It's all in writing. Okay, well, I, we can just finish it right now. We don't have to... Um... Yeah, I could leave right now. You're making me stay here and talk to you, so this is your problem. Okay, so why don't uh, I go up with you, you we racist. get the stuff, we Gizmo, bring it back. Banshee! Oh, let me get my dog's back inside. Banshee! Yeah, you can come on up. Um, do you have the key to unlock my upstairs bedroom? That's why I don't have any. I literally told you I'm gonna unlock the bedroom on text and grab my clothes and put your keys on the table. If okay. you read your damn text messages, but none of these it's keys on there. are to the upstairs bedroom. I probably have more. Read your text message yeah, before I, I freaking really out. Didn't I tell you I was gonna leave your sh on the I table? Need, can I just try wait, some? Wait, 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 wait. Gizmo! 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 Here, here are all your keys. Like I told you in your text message. Let me grab my. Shit. No right to stop me from grabbing my. Shit. Okay, that's You're great. You're stuck in my way right now. Okay, you have absolutely okay. no right. Wait for the I'm cops to come here. I'm just gonna have the cop to. Escort we're waiting for the cops to come here and they'll escort me and get my stuff. Yeah, that's great. Wait, I actually wait think that's okay. Time. If the cops escort him. Do you realize though that by calling the cops, you could be putting his life in danger? So she he asked care. me to call the cops she before, care. and the cops actually escorted him They're before. Here right now. Fine. But you can well, record all of it just for his safety. It's actually the same cop that I spoke to when you're Yeah, then, then it's fine. About. You have a good Not relationship with him. Right if she doesn't want you inside, by all means, she's allowed to keep you from going inside. If she wants us to be inside with you, and sure, that's that's what, fine. Do you, what do you need? Just my clothes from upstairs. Yeah, it's, I'm done. it's fine, officer. As long as you escort him up, it's just what? he only gave me the keys. I don't just need when he anything of her stuff. I have a text he message. Was refusing to give me I have the keys. no. I have a text you message he talks that I okay. told her. So just you know? one person talk at a time. Yeah. I'm gonna follow you inside. Yeah, yeah whatever yeah. you need, and then. Yep. I have a text message. Just, I'll leave the keys on the table, but her dumb ass didn't read that. So, thank you. You guys met before. Right in. Be great. This is ridiculous. Can you just grab my clothes? Yeah. Where is this pull up bar? Um, I'm pretty sure that's my pull up bar, but to get out of the situation, you could have it. Okay. Um, hey, Sam. Please don't talk okay, to me. Okay, well, I think here. it's best Please don't talk to me. Uh, you I'm are in the room. Stuff. I'm yeah. trying to get some jewelry I'm back. getting my stuff back. Thank you. So he was supposed to be looking after some jewelry. He said it was in this room. I wasn't able You're to verify that. You're also supposed to check that. with the city of Hope to have an Airbnb. This is okay. Home. Do you have the jewelry? I think the best thing is is if we just get out here as soon yeah. as possible and you solve everything else over text. Do you? She holds a problem, so she has rights to wherever she wants. I'm just getting my stuff and leave it. Do you have my jewelry I don't want to jewelry that belongs there. I do. I'm gonna put it right on the table. I don't want any of her stuff. Where is the jewelry? I have it in it's Texas. It's in my car. Okay. Uh, I could run and yeah, I could run and get it if you tell me where it is in the car, and I'll just leave it on the table. It's in my backpack. It's in your what? It's in my backpack. In your backpack. Okay, so you were not honest with me when you said it was in my backpack. I think that the semantics here aren't important. It's just okay, important just that you get, get it jewelry. back. You're right. You know what? You're right. Let's just get the jewelry. I think let's it's best that you guys. Right. Why don't I just get it from his car and you wait in the house, and then I'll put it on the table right there. Great. Thank you. you that go. was what I was looking for. All right. Great. Thank you. Um. This couple has taken their grievances to court after construction workers started chopping down trees like lumberjacks on a sugar rush. They thought they had the upper hand with a court order to halt the destruction, but it looks like the construction crew found a sneaky loophole. So this is the way that we understand that I appreciate you presenting me with this material. The way that we've been instructed is to allow vehicles in through here and also to allow, of course, you in a very safe manner. To Will you be allowing construction? Apparently, I will be allowing vehicles. That will you will be allowing them to cut trees? That's slightly what? beyond me. So who who do we need to be? Uh, our lawyers need to be in touch with who's directed you? That's fine if you want to get an attorney. No, no, we have one. Who, who is directing you? Well, you, they would, if it's a public inquiry, they would go through the deputy commissioner of public information. That, who, that's the way they like, you're no, no, you're, you're telling me though you have been directed by somebody above you in command and you're not willing to tell me who that person right. is because obviously you're dealing with me and then in order to put your attorney in contact with that person they simply go through okay you you're acknowledging though you've been given a copy of the of the state court of appeals order which prohibits construction here 
and you're going to disobey that order by the Court of Appeals. So what I'm going to do is allow the vehicles in? No, no, you're going to disobey the order of the Court of Appeals. Yes. If that's the way, that's your words, um, that's your words. Yes, but you're going to be allowing vehicles and you're going to be allowing them to do construction and you're going to be allowing them to cut trees. You're confirming that. It is you who have said it. So what are you confirming? That I'm going to allow vehicles to pass through here and we want to make it very safe where you can voice your opinions in a safe manner. Those are my words. It's a court order. Can you go check with your legal? Because yesterday they stopped construction. They are in contact with me. So they've now reversed their order from yesterday afternoon. They said, I'm just going to go on the last directions received. And that was. And you won't tell me who directed those. You won't, you like know. I said, I'm here. No, 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 but you won't tell me who directed you. Well, if you want that, you would go through the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information at one point. For a public inquiry, you or your attorney. Okay. Here is a similar example to another clip featured a couple of episodes back. Yeah, what do you want? What I want is to deliver a package if you want it. Who's it for? Ian. Never mind, you can pick it up. Hey, hey. Hey. Here is a fun fact. Did you know that the Karen people are not just a meme but a real ethnic group that has a fascinating history? The Karen people, also known as the Kin, are a minority ethnic group indigenous to Southeast Asia, primarily inhabiting the eastern mountains regions of Myanmar, formerly Burma, with the smaller population in Thailand, China, and India. They have a rich culture with a long history that spans thousands of years. The Karen people are known for their traditional clothing, music, dance, and unique spiritual beliefs. So how cool is that that Karens are actually responsible for me and you knowing about the Karen people? Okay, State Police, I should registration before I show up. Okay, why am I being pulled over? Failure to stop a yield. Failure to stop for a yield? Yeah. I stopped behind you, you kept as the video I had, will I had go. to come out and tell you to stop. You kept going. I was already License stopped. Registration before I no short. problem. So you pulled me over License because I told you that you almost caused a traffic accident. Okay. And I hope your camera's working because mine was that I stopped behind you. There's my license. There's the registration. And Any reason why you don't have your seatbelt on? Yes, I just took it off as the video will show. Okay, I well, I don't know what you care about. You didn't have okay, well, I'm not moving, so right, seatbelt so doesn't good. have to be on. That technically it does, but all right. If so I'm in a vehicle it, not moving, you're telling me the seatbelt has to be on. I'm asking you a question, you can't your, answer it. This is all your documents? You just told me that if the vehicle's not moving, I have to have my seatbelt on? This is all your documents, yes or no? Answer my question. Well, I don't know if you had your seatbelt on. It looked like you did it. No, you just told me, I said, the vehicle's not moving, I don't need my uh, seatbelt like on, you and you said yes. You don't have your I said, on. the vehicle's not moving, so I don't need my seatbelt on, you and you said yes to that time. answer. All right, just stay in the vehicle. But the whole point why I told him he almost caused a traffic accident was because he pulled out in three lanes with a vehicle in each lane, including a couple of tractor trailers, and almost caused a pileup with no warning whatsoever. This is the second act of the bathroom drama where our protagonist is still insisting on a supervisor as if that would magically change the law in his favor. He's holding on to the fact that no one asked him to leave the bathroom despite being told to do so as clearly captured on the video. So they, they've asked you to leave the property? Nobody has asked me to, no, not even this, I don't even know these people. Yeah. Like, through yeah. Through they've asked you to leave the property. You're a police officer and yes. through you? Yes. And look, look, I want to see. That's how trespassing works. What trespassing? For using a public she restroom? She gave the, you the opportunity to leave and if you, you choose to stay. Has any of you, like, talked to me? No, you didn't. Yes, sir. No, you didn't. You're a woman. All of these guys are here. All of these guys are here. And. Hi. 
the business has the right to ask you to leave, no matter where you're at, even if you're in the bathroom. Okay. Do you understand what's happening? Sorry. No. No. Have you ever been trespassed from somewhere before? Like, okay, so you don't no, understand that, the process? That, that's not how the law works. I'm not sure you understand how it works. Can you show me what law by Wichita, Kansas? Uh, sure, it's a, a trespass. Yeah, for using a restroom. It's not the using of it, it's the remaining in there and being asked to leave and you not leaving. No, she didn't, yes, like, no, did. there, there's no, no. Yes, she did. No. There's no reason for her to lie to me. She like, works no. here. She, she asked you to leave. You didn't. She didn't ask me to do anything. I was just, I was there. What and were I, you doing in there? I was so, just using the restroom. Okay. Well, if you're asked to leave, then you probably need to do that. She didn't ask me to do anything. I didn't, nobody came in. Nobody. Like, I swear to God. Well, it's your word against hers, and unfortunately, a business has the right to trespass anybody for any reason. And unless you want to be trespassed for quick trips, I would suggest that you get to go. No. Do you have a supervisor? I want to, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay. All right. How old are you? I don't answer any questions. Well, if this turns into a formal trespass, you will have to identify yourself. So, and that, that's a choice that you're making by staying here. Okay? Yeah. Here's a lady who's determined to get her cable fixed no matter what it takes. She barged into her neighbor's cable appointment, demanding that the workers fix her cable that was apparently disconnected. Despite the workers telling her that she needs to set up an appointment, she's not having it and tries to call customer service on the workers, hoping that they will force them to fix her cable on the spot. Talk about cable rage. Do it. All right, sir. So this man does not have a work order. Thanks we're here. For us. We are here for. No. We're here for this woman. So we're, there's nothing we can do for her. If there's nothing we can do for her. Have a request in to dispatch right now. Um, I just haven't gotten back yet. Alright, well, until the work order gets put on my tech, he's not No! Here. There is not going to be a work order for there me. No, there's not! We don't do stuff for free, ma'am. Screw don't do you, stuff you stuff okay? You. You can no! I, I, well, we'll yep. keep going. Here you go. No! no. Here you go. Alright, Chad, until we have a work order, we don't do stuff for free. We will not be helping this customer. There Chad! You go. Did you take... Chad! Don't tell me what to do. We'll find yeah. out, because if it's not one of my guys, I... Wait, just, just get me my cable, please. Well, I need oh. to know who it is. I just need to get her out of here. Give me one sec here, okay? I know you're dealing with a lot right now. I'm not dealing with anything. I'm, I'm here to do one I'm, job and one job on. So... All we need is our no. cable on. Yeah, we'll get, He's you, your we'll boss. get you going. He's not my and, boss. He, you can not work he, by the end of the day. You might be fired. I might be. Who knows? But here you go. No, no. Talk to him I, and do I'm what waiting. he says. I'm waiting. I, you can hold your phone. We're going to get her fixed. And you're going to come over and fix me. I'm not. Yes, we you are. Ma'am, I'm sorry that someone dis okay. that someone didn't do your service. Do y'all know about the white boxes in the closet? No. The, yes, the, we do. Clueless. Yeah. Okay. Well, the SOB that was here on Friday. Do you know his name? 25450. 25450. I'm not sure. Because you're clueless, that's why. I'm not clueless, actually. I could get you going, I'm just not going to for free. If you, both of y'all. Let me, um, let me try to reach out to your soup and see if he can put in an order so you get her taken care of today. Please. Like Please. I said, if, if, um, you, get, if you get an order put in, we'll do it. But I, I need to work with it. I'm waiting on dispatch. I put it in two hours ago and they haven't did it yet. Hello? 
Okay, you know where the white box is? <laughs> yes, I'll check it out for you. And, and do I get it? Do I? This next clip is called Welcome to Brooklyn. Hey, get me in play. I got my shirt covered. The only thing that can go with me with their little bullshit girls. Like, nah, my I had a tag there. I'm gonna fix my f tag. Yeah. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, I had a tag here, bro. I'm fixing my sh**. Yeah, get me right here. Yo, you heard? I had a tag right here. Yo, for real, homie? Yeah, for real, bro. I had a tag here. My best friend had a tag here, too. Going over real graffiti with your street art pool. Out of here. Welcome to Brooklyn. You want to throw down there? Fast food employee wasn't having it when someone tried to rob him last Saturday, according to a police report. The suspect, dude named Damien, walks into the restaurant and ordered some food. A witness said he was wearing a coat with his hands in his pockets as if he was going to pull something out of it and told the cashier he needed the money. He said, I'm robbing you. The cashier said, you're not robbing shit. The suspect said, yeah, I am. I need the money. The cashier said, I will beat your ass. You want to go outside and handle this? The suspect then left the store. When the police asked the cashier if he believed the suspect was armed, the cashier said the suspect looked more nervous than the cashier was. Then the suspect tried to turn around and act like the cashier assaulted him. Verbally. Uh, no, they found a screwdriver in his pocket. Wrong. To wrap up this episode, we have part two of the guy who was denied a flight over a baggage issue. It seems that this is becoming a regular occurrence as you'll see another clip with the same issue. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Okay, my back fits. My, mine fits, ma'am, mine fits already. You are forcing the back. Sideways, please. It's it's sideways. personal item, and it's No, check. you are forcing the back. You can force the back. I know you get $10 per back. I know that already. You need to step on the same place for your back. We're good, ma'am. Sir, you need to pay for your carry-on. Yeah. Step on the side, please. Pay for your carry-on, sir. Sure. The Frontier obviously has an issue with you being here. They're saying, let me finish speaking. Sure. Please don't interrupt Absolutely. Me. They said you were disturbing the peace. Now, we've all dealt with Frontier before. We know how that can be. But they're okay. saying, you can't be in this area. This is Frontier's area. So may what I other airline are you booking? Right. I'm trying to find the cheapest one because now they're very expensive. Okay, so what they're saying is yeah. you need to go outside of Concourse A, which is mostly Frontier. Is it? Okay. And we can walk you there. Rebook there. We're not going to. Am I allowed? You. Am I allowed to go to a different section of an airline? No, I don't need to see that. I mean, you can uh, go she, down to Delta. Delta's okay. on Concourse C. They're just asking me not to be here specifically. They don't want you to be here. Oh, because I'm videoing them. That's. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know why. They're just saying. We're just trying to alleviate everything. You're sure. I understand you're what, what, frustrated, but yeah, you're kind when, of making this difficult. When, when you came you over here, I was peaceful, that. right? Just yeah, sitting down, not doing anything. Now. Yeah. But if if we ask for your name, we take that because we put it on the log sheet. We contacted this individual. We'll, we'll have their name he, too. If you would have asked me for my name, I would have gave it. He asked for my ID. Well, that and, has your name on it. But he, but he, all he has to say is, "What is your name, sir?" And I gave you my name when you asked for it. Okay. We'll take a picture. Here's the ID. We sure. contacted this person. We sent it to our sergeants for the end of watch letter. It's not an arrest. And that's sure. it. That's well, the only reason I don't we want to give my ID because I don't fine. feel like I committed a crime. And that's yeah. fine. We're not asking for your ID. I'm headed to Nashville. Nashville. Well, let's do it. Come on. Let's get another ticket. Well, go. they're expensive, my man. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to leave this area yes. and go where I need to go to, yeah, you know. New, you take sure. New area. Sure, okay. sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm stuck. Stuck here at the airport. Matthew's over there as well. Stuck at the airport with his luggage here and... I don't know him. I met him. I offered to pay for his his baggage, in which Frontier Airline denied access for me to pay for his baggage because they had an issue with me. And so, yeah, man, we're we're just here. <laughs> Appreciate you asking him, though. Yeah. So yeah, stuck here in the Denver airport. A father and son confront a woman with her kids by stopping their car in the middle of the highway causing a traffic jam, all because they said that the woman was blinding them with her headlights. Scary. This is the scariest I've ever met. Mom, look the car, look the car. 
Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Man, your heart's breaking on the A13. Look, you're fo you're following you me too close. No, no, and I you're wasn't. Your flashlight no, on us. You, your heart's breaking when in the middle you're of the A13. You're hitting and you us. I you're put your license plate and yeah, you did it to well, the police. You've got it on video and, and you've just reversed. You're you biggest. just reversed. You've just reversed. You've just reversed. He's driving. He's the one driving. He's the one driving. Look what you're doing to the cop! Don't me! Oh! Okay, the car! You fight my car! You fight my car! Look what he's done to my car! I'm sorry. You, you just said you were going to call the police on me. I you need to go did. forward. You can fit on this side. No, I can't. I absolutely cannot. You're literally two inches from me. Are you fucking me? Just go forward and, and I'll go, go forward. I'm sorry, but you, you're you threatening to call the cops I, on I me. I did. They're on the way. So can you move, please? Great. You're harassing me. I'm harassing you. You. <laughs> I literally can't get home because you're blocking the street. I can't park because of you. I'm waiting. you. Dude. This locksmith tries to steal another locksmith job by showing up to the job after the customer had called them and cancelled. Even when the customer decides to go with the other locksmith once again, this guy demands some sort of payment for showing up when he wasn't supposed to show up. You better get to stepping. Huh? Get to stepping. Hey, I'm gonna put you on YouTube, bro. It's up to you. Listen, let me tell you something. It's up to you, bro. You don't have to tell me that. I've been doing this for a while. Okay. Bro, don't talk to me. Okay. Get on somewhere. Get step. Listen, take I'm those shoes and step. Listen, I don't care if you take. I don't care if you take them. I don't care if you take them, bro. Bro, 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 bro. You wanna you wanna threaten me? I'll call the police right now. I got you on recording, bro. I got you on recording. I'm gonna show this to my boss. Listen, bro. Get away. Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. You're in my space. Get away from me, bro. Get out. Get get out of my space, bro. Get out of my space, bro. Listen. What? Bro, don't 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 talk to me, bro. You don't you're nobody to me. Go go on somewhere, bro. Yo, do me a favor and call the police for me. I appreciate that. Nobody gonna call police for what? I appreciate that. Listen, this is my company. Bro, I don't have time for you, man. Don't have time for you. That's told me a 522. He called me a 523. Exactly. So, 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 yeah, but I had canceled on somebody. And you so said, and you so said, can but we yeah. we don't do that though. We don't send somebody out. If you call, if you would have called and canceled, my company would have told me. So that means it was them. And he's showing up just to show up to try to steal the job. That's what they do. Steal the job. This is the That's what he's doing. Team. Listen, you know how many? And then you pulled up. And yeah. then I said on the phone because he exactly. had called me, and I said, hey, yeah, somebody else just pulled line. up. It wasn't me. You didn't call me. You talked no, to him. I was talking to him. Yeah, exactly, him. Oh, like somebody already pulled up. So you, so you just confirmed that you told him that somebody's already here, and that was me. So that means you're not supposed to be here. He just said it, bro. He just said it. He just said it, bro. Did you not just hear what he said? He said he called you and canceled. Listen, he listen. You were talking to me, but I told you somebody had pulled up. Exactly. See, listen. He's trying to steal the job. That's all it is. That's all he's trying. Bro, don't 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 talk to me like that, man. Stop talking. Stop cussing. There's no reason to cuss. Okay. Listen, man. Listen, bro. I don't know how long you've been doing this. I've been doing it probably a longer than you, and I know the game really well. Okay. I know the game really well. Okay. I know how it works. Okay. That's why you always I'm a say technician. <laughs> yes. yes. Bro, I bet you I make more money than you and you're probably the owner of your company. You? Yeah. <laughs> you make 150000 a month? 150000 a month, my you ass. Right why you, if you make so if much I money, why are you sitting here arguing? Because that's how you make money. Mm. You how That's how you ma I you, you teach me, I teach you. Te teach me, bro. Teach me. I want you to teach me. Teach me, my big baby. Te Listen, teach me. Teach me. Listen. I rock up my baby, you bro. Teach me. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Hey man, you called us. I have your voice record everything that you we did the job. If you'd like to hear it, that's fine. They're trying to steal the job. Show us that your voice recorded. Here. We're just we're gonna show you the You voice. sound nervous, bro. Hey, what's going on, boss? 
He's trying he's to steal the job. Steal seven seven saying, years I've been doing this, and it's a no. But look at the phone numbers that you have and who you called yeah. and canceled on. Look at. You were on the, I was on the phone when you. Hey, so who's the last person you called? Him. You called him. He mm -hmm. told me he left. Hey, boss man, I'm sorry. You gotta talk to your your boss or somebody, man. No, we can't. Okay, you gotta pay the tip for coming up. Hey, I ain't never heard nothing about hey, no trip. Hey, man. What's your boss number? Uh, I'm the boss. I'm yeah. the owner. Hey, phone number. Hey, man, you you do your job. Thank you. Appreciate it, no problem. This next woman was kicked out of a store for unknown reasons and the security guard followed her outside of the store and told her that she needed to leave the parking lot. Here's how she responded. Now why are you following me, sir? Excuse me. Why are you following me outside this damn grocery store? You already was racist and rude. And I said I reported you to corporate. What's the problem? And I told you leave me alone. So we're recording. Yeah, Karen. Come on, Karen. You don't have jurisdiction out here. You don't have authority out here. What are you doing out here, sir? Harassing people. No, leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. You're in the parking lot. Help! This black man harassing me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. You keep, no, you don't have jurisdiction out here. Bye. You don't have jurisdiction. Leave me alone. Stop coming close. Leave me alone. Help, police. Black man harassing me. Leave me alone. Get the hell away from me, black man. Get away. Go back to Africa. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't care. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. Help. Black man harassing me. Leave me alone. You don't have jurisdiction out here. You don't have jurisdiction out here. Now I'm going to another store. You keep following me. Stop following me. He's follow Police help me. This man is harassing me. Yes, I got him on video. Your black is done. Get away from me. Get away from me. I told you, get away from me. He's following me. I'm sick of his I'm sick of him. He followed me in the store. Karen. Yeah, because you're a stupid idiot. No, Karen. You're a loser. You guys, Karen. You guys all look like losers. Karen. Karen. What are you doing right now? Yeah, you guys Karen. all look like a bunch of losers. I'm trying to be polite here. I'm Karen. Polite. I haven't said anything. Neither are you. Dude, leave your shit in the street. It's going to get run over. Hey, at Don't be a Put me off. You're cool, bro. Tell me that I can't.